Oh wow, that's the life, eh? Huh. Looks like my supervisor has bailed on me. <laughs> hey folks, Ray from LoveyRV.com here again. And I'm just working on a, a project. I had uh, done a, a review on this Lensun uh, solar panel, flexible solar panel, a little while back. And I had said I was going to make myself up a uh, portable ground panel out of it. So just in the process of that, I thought I'd show you how, how I'm doing so far. Um, I decided instead of using the, the solar uh, wiring to uh, hook it up, I'd get myself an actual 30 amp uh, uh, RV cord, which is a 10 gauge, and wire that in instead. It's cause, basically because it has a lot of nice weights so it'll sit flat. Because if you remember, I wanted to uh, put it in, into my truck and mount it on my storage box. So I've sort of been working on that. What I decided to do was get myself a three-quarter inch piece of really good plywood. And to protect that, I've uh, picked up some of this uh, deck coating. Sort of deck over. That's kind of that walk-on deck coating. And I've got myself all painted up with that. that that'll protect it from the elements. Um, so to mount it on my toolbox, it's going to mount on that middle toolbox there, the black one. It's going to go right on top of that. So my grand plan is I'm going to put it on that and these rings here that I've mounted already with screws, they're going to hook up to some um, uh, strapping. I've already got them placed underneath the, the toolbox there. And I'll be able to ratchet that up and tighten it right on top. Now, for so that somebody doesn't just take it, you know, steal it, and also to hold it down a little better, I'm going to take another set of these, and I'm going to mount them on on the board here. And then what I'll do is on the top of that toolbox, I'll cut two little slits. So when the board sits on top of it those will, will go through the plastic and then on the other side of the plastic I'll put a couple of these in there so if some thief comes along and they try to lift it up they they won't be able to get it off <laughs> at least keep the honest folks from dealing it I'm sure if someone really wants it they're they're gonna take it but so to mount that um, panel what I'm gonna do is um, once this uh, deck coat is all dried up I'm gonna put silicone underneath it's going to so I'm going to silicone it on top with clear silicone and run a bead all around it also uh, put some bolts through these grommets here to hold it down so it won't go anywhere so yeah and then what this will do is I'll simply uh, plug this into the female of that and that's going to run into my uh, front compartment where my solar controller is so, I'll be able to uh, be charging with solar while I'm driving. Um, when I stop, I can uh, pop that panel off of the toolbox and it'll be on this uh, nice heavy piece of plywood so I can lay that on the ground or tilt it. I'm thinking I might come up with some type of tilt brackets for the back of it, but in the meantime, I'll probably just lean it against my uh, water jug or something. So, I'll continue on and uh, see how I do. Kind of winging it here, planning as I go, but I think I got a good plan together. Okay, so beautiful morning. So I'm going to continue on in my project. Now I'm going to take um, some silicone sealant, clear it's just 100% silicone, and uh, apply it to the back of the panel and my, uh, my mounting board and put it on there. Still going to use the holes to mount it, but the silicone hopefully will keep it uh, sealed on there because it's going to ride in the back of the pickup. So if any wind's coming along I, and they just use the holes, it'll probably start to flap around. So I'm also going to seal it up with silicone, keep it, keep it in place. Okay, things are proceeding. Got the solar panel mounted onto the, the plywood board and got my wiring all connected up here. 
And see I added this just to take the tension off these wires so they don't pull out of the junction box so if it gets pulled on or strain the wires. And see I've cut up my uh, 30 amp RV power cord. So I used this because it made a nice uh, simple package and it's got uh, 10 gauge wire in it. And I can also double, because I only need two, two lines, I can double one up. So that'll even have a, a thicker gauge on one run of the line. So yeah, that's how it's going to work. See, I'll be able to plug it in. Nice good solid connection. This is going to live just under the hitch. Going to wire that there. I was looking at how to get it into my front bay where my charge controller is. And there really didn't seem to be any way to get it from the hitch into that front storage bay. I ripped apart behind the bed and all inside I was looking where I could run it. It was going to be a real pain. So I've decided to actually drill a hole in the front fiberglass there. So it'll come straight from the hitch. I'll have a couple of wire hangers underneath. There's already screws there to, that it's holding the, the fiberglass underneath. So I've picked up what they call a cable clam. It's used a lot in boating to uh, put wires through through the hull. So it's an interesting little device. This little rubber thing in there. Basically you drill out that rubber and then put a slit in it. And it's kind of like a compression seal. And uh, that should work out good. Then it can go straight through into that compartment and I can wire it into my charge controller. So that's my next job. You can see I lost my truck. Well, Anne's truck actually. <laughs> She's taking it out for some boating. Beautiful day here in Campbell River, so she's gone. Oh well, got lots to do here, so keep myself busy puttering. Okay, project completed. Give you a look at it here. So there's my uh, board with the solar panel all, all mounted on. And you can see it's mounted on my box here. I'll open it up and show you inside. I use a couple of waterproof locks to keep people out of the toolbox. Undo them. I'll lift that up. Oh, first I gotta undo my strap. So there I've got uh, this type of straps holding it down. There we go. So there's the lid up. You can see I just put some bungee cords in there. I think that'll be enough if someone tries to pull on that. They're going to have a hard time lifting that off. Also helps keep it held down. There we go. And let's go over and show you the connection here. It was down. It hooked on here. So when I'm traveling I'll uh, bungee that or uh, use some velcro to clamp all that up to the strap and then here's my uh, long cord so that will plug into my hitch when I'm driving and let's go over and show you how I finished that up yeah, here's my trailer pin box so on the back here I've attached it with a clamp here and then there's the female so that'll be hooked up when I'm driving. Um, when parked and not using it, I can always just tuck it away in there. And along here, added a few ring connectors. These these were already these screws were already here holding this fiberglass up. Down here, follow it, follow it there. There's that uh, clamp cam. That's the blue C. So that's a super waterproof connection. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty professional. Much better than a big blob of caulking or something. So let's open up the inside, take you in there. There we go. Try not to let that fall on my head. So around here, this is where it comes on the inside through the fiberglass and through this wood. So this went straight across. There's my pool noodle. And then just use some clamping to hold it in place. More over there. Dressed it over to uh, 
my uh, charge controller. That's my Bogart uh, 2030 SC2030 charge controller that I'm wiring it into. Um, I've installed this a uh, 40 amp circuit breaker, so all my uh, panels go into that right in here, and then they come out of that and go into the the positive side of the charge controller and then all the negatives go into the negative side. So all the panels are wired in parallel. Um, I haven't installed fuses. You're supposed to install a fuse for each panel just in case uh, one of the panels develops to short all the other panels could be feeding that short. So that's something I, I'll probably have to do. So that's the right way to do it anyway is to fuse once you get up to uh, start getting up over three panels, I think, yeah, three panels, you have to start fusing each panel, so hopefully I can find myself a decent inline fuse to use, because the last thing I want to do is put a bunch of fuses in there that develop bad connections and lose power. So anyway, there we go, looking good. Okay, so next I'll pop that panel off and lay it on the ground like I'm going to do when I'm boondocking. Woohoo! Looking good, looking good. So you can see this was my idea here. Got lots of uh, cable there. And I'm just propping it up with a water jug. I got a couple of water jugs to be able to adjust that. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. It took a lot big windstorm to do anything with that, but I may put a, a bracket on the back for tilting. Okay, so I'll go in and see. It's kind of cloudy today. We'll see uh, how much uh, solar that that panel is adding in full sun. I got the other ones up there. If you haven't seen my seen before, on the top of the cooter, if you can see that there's uh, four panels up there. There we go. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So you can see I'm putting about 27 amps in there. A little bit of shade coming from the cloud, but yeah, that's wicked. And my charge controller is a 30 amp charge controller, so I'm really using it to its capacity. Well, there we go, back on the truck. Doesn't take any time at all. Wicked. So yeah, I don't even have to pull it off and tilt it if I don't want to. It'll, it'll draw, it'll produce energy just sitting on the truck bed like that if I'm parked. There we go, another project done. I think it's uh, next we're going to tackle the, the plumbing upgrade and uh, try to get that Wastemaster storage box hooked on there. So until next time, it's Ray from loveyourrv.com. Having a great summer here in beautiful British Columbia. Take it easy. Cheers.